the Ainger Lane and last night. What do you mean? <laughs> I haven't done anything with myself. Oh, fuck it. She hasn't done nothing for three and a half weeks, man, with herself. If she starts carrying on too much, that's it for the holidays. Welcome to the Murray, guys. First time we've seen it this year, isn't it, babe? Saying what that. What sort of fucking amateur are you? Go again. <laughs> so, if we go up here, what, babe? Yeah. Only drinking. Oh, okay. Yes. Come here. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> stick something in, nothing ever else goes in. I can tell you that much right now. Yep. It. No, I cannot, babe. Uh, I'm a bit worried, actually. I mean, we haven't got a very long walk to go. It's just down the end of there. It might not be fucking long for her. She's not <laughs> carrying 24 <laughs> bottles of plop. Gives a break, someone. Someone just gives a break. Someone give poor old Rusty a break. Yeah, if I cry out loud. Take me off his hands, please. Well, well, it's warm enough for skinny, Divin. Oh, yeah. yeah but yeah. I can't swim. Right. You in there? <laughs> Best, uh, best place for it. Right? <laughs> now, she wanted the EMU contract changed once again for the second time on this trip. Starting from today? No, we're starting from tomorrow. We're Damn not starting it. from today. <laughs> the rule's only just been changed, oh, babe. Jesus. And Kim <laughs> hit it. And there's feathers <laughs> flying around everywhere. And she's actually spitting out feathers. She's been going, no fucking, no, no fucking EMU here. No EMU here. Wouldn't you? <laughs> The stars driving down the boulevard at night Playing cool, play on repeat Watching people on the street as I go by And it doesn't even matter to me where I go I just feel I need to take a ride Got my coffee cup to go And I'm gonna hit the road tonight Now my wheels in motion and my have woken up in um, Griffith and all went well. All the other videos we made, don't worry about it, okay? All went well. Kim's out here, the old Scrag's out there. Look at the old Scrag going for it, will you? Morning, everybody. Oh, babe, come on, tidy yourself up, please, babe. Tidy business. yourself up. I haven't done anything with myself. Oh, fuck it. She hasn't done nothing for three and a half weeks, man, with herself. <laughs> More importantly, she ain't done nothing with Rust. <laughs> Rusty. More importantly, one can say once Emu landed, didn't it, babe? One's emu fucking did not. Yes, emu. Don't listen to it. The emu has landed. <laughs> Didn't it, babe? Babe. Stop telling lies on your channel. <laughs> well, look at this, guys. Look at that. It is an absolute pearler of the day. It might be too much of a pearler, though, because you're supposed to get to about 35 when we hit Mildura. So, um, yeah. It could be a bit of angst on the way with old Kimmy out there, but I'll keep her under control, don't worry guys. And if I don't, I'll just ride off on her. I'll ride off into the sunset. <laughs> if she starts carrying on too much, that's it for the holidays. <laughs> okay guys, catch you on the road. Okay guys, so this is Griffith. Uh, we're about to leave. I won't bother taking up Main Street. It, uh, what's he doing? Uh, what's that? Yeah, right. Crossing? Yeah. Ah, uh, somebody's on it. Yep. These fucking New South Wales crossings that are on the corner of roundabouts. It's ridiculous, I reckon. Yeah, it blocks up everybody. Yep. So he's just putting <laughs> eight litres of fuel on his bike, and it's $18.14. 225.9 a litre. And mine was just about a litre less. Oh, I should do your windscreen, eh? Getting a bit sick of doing this, just this one job on these holidays. I'm on holidays. I shouldn't have to do anything. <sighs> just get a bit of a slap-up job here. That's it. Can't be bothered. It's got to be too hot today to do anything. There you go, Your Majesty. Top part's all right, isn't it? It's whinging because it's a mess. Oh, but rust is always whinging. Yeah. Rightio, so we've just filled up in Griffith and we are leaving our motel. Well, we left our motel, obviously. 
and we're heading towards Mildura now it's going to be a really hot day today they are predicting 34 35 in Mildura so it could be fun <laughs> because <laughs> once it gets over 30 on a bike it starts getting bloody hot the motel room and the fucking air conditioner on as low as it can go. And Kim will be lying on the bed dying, you watch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it does actually get really hot on the bikes because you've got the, the heat coming up from the engine as well. Yeah, oh, Rusty won't be able to talk to her because Rusty ain't riding in these conditions. No. No, Rusty it's only Kimmy. It's only Kimmy. Rusty feeling something different. It's only Kimmy, so you know. But we'll see how we go, guys. I'll be fine. Good. Just vineyards everywhere out this way, guy, and orchards. It's unreal. Well, it's the same in Mildura all the way along the Murray, really. Uh, when you get down, this ain't the Murray, but when you get down that way, that's what you see. Because water is the life of the country. So this is little Darlington Port, guys, not far out of um, Griffith, probably about 35 k's or so. It's a quaint little town, this one, isn't it, babe? It is. Apparently it's the gateway to the Murrumbidgee. There you go. Kimmy will tell you, won't you, babe? No drinkers yep. here. They've got a lot of kegs there, babe. That's a good sign. Oh, yeah. That's what we're going to have to start buying. What? Kegs? Kegs. Yeah, yeah, we'll carry a keg around the back of your bike, eh? Why not? There's only an old tractor anyway. This is a town we came through the other way, and it had... 60 on the sign or 50 on the road or something. Yes, at one stage it did, didn't it? One year we come through. Yep. Look at this, guys. The Hay Plains. Extraordinary piece of land, isn't it? Now, I think from memory, it is one, one of the flattest places on Earth. I'm pretty sure it is. I'll have to look that back up, but um, that's what I think. They just go for miles and miles and miles. This vast expanse of flat land and salt bush is counted in the top three flattest places on earth, but that doesn't mean there's nothing to see. While the 100 km plus stretch of Cobb Highway doesn't provide much variation for drivers trying to reach the town of Hay and beyond as quickly as possible, there are mighty rewards for travellers who can take their time at ground level. Things can look desolate. But why look down when you can look up and around? If you're lucky enough to be in this part of the world as a storm rolls in, you're in for a show of truly epic proportions. More predictably, sunrise and sunset are spectacular times to visit the Hay Plains. Well, we have come across some civilization, haven't we, babe, on the Hay Plains? <laughs> and where would it be? Hay. We are going to fuel up here. We've already done about 156 kilometres or so. The first stretch of our trip today. So we're not quite halfway yet. Temperature at the moment is uh, reasonably good, isn't it, babe? Yeah, it's not too bad at the moment. It's yeah. going to get warm though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is going to get warm the further we go this way. So we're hoping to um, get into Mildura before it really does get really, really hot. I mean, it's going to be warm when we get there, but um, not as hot as what it is going to get today. We're not going to go into the Hay Township ourselves. Uh, we've got servos on the outer out here. Um, we really need to take this shell one here, sweetie, because that other one last year, I don't, I don't think they had what we wanted. Yeah, well, this one's got the good stuff, so. Yeah. We'll put Kimmy in the shade, eh? The red one, is it? Blue one. Ah, okay. Or oh, the blue one? Yeah, that's what I said. So, we're fueled up. We're there at Hay, and fueled up the bodies with a bit of fluid. And we're going to push on towards Balranel, which is, according to that sign, 133 k's away. And we'll stop there for lunch. But what we're trying to do is just make it make up a fair bit of time while it's not so hot in the boat. Yeah, it's not too bad at the moment. Yeah, it's pretty. It's really good. It's really nice actually at the moment. It is. So um, I will see you in Barrenal because there's not a real lot in between apart from the hay plains. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you might get bored looking at that too much on us. Yeah. Okay, we come up to Barrenal. 
Now last year when we come through, she was all flooded on both sides of the roads here, wasn't it, babe? It was, yeah. yeah. all the way through there. This is the Murrumbidgee River that we are about to cross. So we're going to fuel up here again at Bow Reynold and um, grab something to eat, don't we, babe? Because we have not eaten today at all. No, we haven't. And what time is it? Yeah, 11.41. A quick fuel stop and go to the toilet, then have a bite of lunch. Mind you, it was starting to warm up here now at Baranold, so the weather was going to get a lot hotter by the time we hit Mildura. Okay, so we just had a lunch over the road there at that Baranold takeaway. It's very nice indeed, wasn't it, babe? Yeah, it was. I had a nice salad bowl. I had a chicken burger and some chips and that, and absolutely beautiful. The chips are spectacular, if you can say that about chippies, and a good serving too. We've got about 158 k's to go from the Bermuda Triangle here, isn't it, babe? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're calling it. Yeah, uh, Kim's Bermuda Triangle, this one, because that's where her sportster broke down there years ago here. Yeah. And we had to go back to um, get it taken back to Quick Fix Harley and Mildura, in case anybody doesn't know. It lived in a shed down here on the right yes, overnight. Yes, yes. Uh, it lived there on the right overnight. It's rent me now, but Baron Old Hydraulics. And um, Quick Fix Harley come and got it early the next morning. Anyway, so we'll hit the road again and we'll catch you uh, down the road, guys. Welcome to Euston, guy. well, guys, where the Murray River is fun. That's what they tell us in a babe. That's it. Yeah. We're just going to find some shade somewhere, guys. Pull over and just have a quick drink and then um, get moving again. Finding some shade is going to be very interesting. How far down does the town go? Oh, I don't know, babe. Well, you've got a, oh, what's the name? The club thing down on the banks of the Murray down here. Oh, yeah. Turn right in there and we've got a heap of shade under the trees in there, okay? Hump. Yep, and there's no big hump, really big hump here, babe. Okay. Welcome to the Murray, guys. First time we've seen it this year, isn't it, babe? Yeah. And I do like the Murray. You do know that, don't you, guys? You do know that. Mm -hmm. I have expressed my feelings about the Murray River on more than one occasion before. Have I not? <laughs> I just love it. Euston is right on the banks of the Murray River. Typical of the prevailing agriculture of the Riverina, it is completely surrounded by vineyards. Its primary appeal is its location on the Murray River. There is a boat ramp and several sandbars, which means it's ideal for swimming, fishing and camping. It is truly a beautiful little place. And Kimmy Russ, we're going back there to stay. Okay, guys. So this is down Euston, down on the Murray River. We just stopped here for a sec. That's the club there. Just stopped under some shade there. Just have, um, have a bit of a cool drink. Well, a warm drink, actually. Want a babe? Yeah, it was warm. But it was water, so that's the main thing. But isn't this absolutely beautiful down here? Look at that club. I could imagine myself just sitting out on that deck and that's it. We're coming back here one year and we're staying here. Yep. Yeah. Rusty, what? Come across this way. It's... Oh, just scraped I did, so be careful. I did too. You're right. Yep. A little bit. And watch this one, babe. Houston Club Motel. Babe, I could imagine it's just staying here. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, just watching the day go by. There they... were some people back there and they were just saying that the um, the pub's nice too. Yeah, they were saying the club, we asked what the club meals were like and they said they were really nice in there. Really nice club. This is the pub up here. Yeah, this is the pub where the bikes are. That's exactly right, babe. I reckon they're really good meals here. Anyway, we've got uh, about 79 k's to go to get to uh, Mildura. Did you check the weather, but I'm probably nah. sure it's in the 30s now. Oh, I reckon it's about 33 or something. Yeah. 34, I'd say. But anyway. We knew that was coming, but we've only got a very short stint to go, haven't we, babe? Yeah. We've got 
just an hour and that's it on the bikes. You're not too hot, are you? No, don't worry about me, babe. It's all about you, sweet. Don't you worry. Right. I wasn't really worried, but I was just checking. Well, you're going to give me your wet scarf, are you? Of course. I was going to share it with you. Oh, don't fucking lie to me. No, don't lie to me. Don't lie to me, babe. She's got a scarf on around her neck that she's wet at the moment. It's one of those cool scarfs, guys. What you do is you wet them and you wrap them around your neck and the air from riding the bike keeps you cool. So we're not far out of Mildura now. What, about eight kilometres? Oh, something like that. Six, yeah. Six kilometres, yep. Yep. Just coming through Golgol. And it's very hot. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's pretty warm now. We pushed 33, 34. Yeah, it's quite warm. My um, towel, my cold towel's already dried out. You got to survive the next five kilometres? Oh, uh, I should do. Oh, jeez. I don't think I'm going to fall down in a heap. I think I'll be right. <laughs> Sorry, um, I missed that because I just stopped the recording, but. Oh, fucking good on ya. Russ was just saying what that. What sort of fucking amateur are you? Go again. <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, you probably haven't seen much footage of us coming across here, guys, because Russ has had a memory card go down in the GoPro. And I've lost about 60 or 70 files by the looks of it. Well, we. Unless it asks me to do a repair on it, I don't reckon I'll have it. He's only assuming it at this stage, guys, so we'll have to wait until we stop and. Uh, I'm pretty sure at the moment, I think. Anyway, it is what it is. That's it. Can't do much about it. No no point in crying over spilt milk. Like I said, if I'm relying on Kimmy to take footage, well, I'm fucked. Uh, relying on me for the footage. Well, who wants what now? You want stuff... Oh, is that right? You want stuff off me. Right, turning the camera off now, and we will wait until we get into Mildura. Looks like we've got amateur hour back there, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was for your benefit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, just to let you know that it's off, so you know, I, okay. I don't get into trouble. Yeah. Okay, oh. so we're at our motel in Mildura tonight, and it has got very warm, and it? it's got 34 degrees already. It's supposed to get the 35. Devon Street Motel. Now we're informed that we hang a left up the corner here, and we'll find a bottle shop up the next block. So just over there is the Murray River. We are down the bottom end of the street, aren't we, babe? Yep. 7th Street we're on. And That's we're... why it's called 7th Street Motel. We're in an award-winning motel. Are we? Yeah. Really? Yep. How come? Because it's set on that sign. Oh, OK. That's very cool. Yep. Why? Why? Why did it the really owners work? wrote it on the sign. Oh, OK. That's very cool. Yeah. You'll be right, babe. Sparks Jim there tonight for oh, you. I'll be off to the gym. Yeah, you'll be off. Take your stubbies and I'll go. There'll be no fucking stopping her, I can tell you guys. <laughs> Bloody warm today, hasn't it, babe? We've got this. here before the major heat of the day, though, haven't we? Yeah. So if we go up here, what, babe? Yeah. Only drinking. Oh, OK. Yes. But the alcohol-free zone, she just seen. She got a bit worried there for a minute. Yeah, I was thinking that didn't She thought, oh, Rusty booked her in a motel where she couldn't have a drink. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon she would have been packing up her bag and going. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we got a Kmart right here, babe. Oh, have we? Yes. Need to go find some undies. Hit all mine. She shit herself today a couple of times, mate, on the way over. Didn't you, babe? Yep. Hey, hey guys. Well, um, we're going up here. We're going to, like I said, we're going to find a bottle shop. Who knows where we're going to eat, but um, I don't really feel like anything just yet. Have a think about that. We might go for a walk and get a pizza or something later, might oh, we? Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, we haven't had a pizza for a while. No, I don't know. Nice. We've got a couple of nights here, so we can go to the club or... Oh, oh fuck. fuck sake. Stop Break pushing me, babe. Ankle. See, love is art to you, babe. Love is art to you. Come here, babe. Come here. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the camera. <laughs> Uh, stick something in, nothing ever else goes in, I can tell you that much right now. Yep. Can you see it? No, I cannot, babe. Um, I'm a bit worried, actually. I reckon um, it'll be in here. This looks like a shopping complex. Okay, we're going into the shopping complex. So now, this is what we found, guys. We found a liquor shop right here, haven't we? First yeah. choice. And Just you know stand what? here. And you know what? I don't care what they got, I'm getting whatever they got. Just stand here and they'll bring it out. Yeah, I don't reckon, babe. Don't fear, people. We've got a cart. I'll tell you why. 
in town for half an hour and we've got a cart nearly back in the fridge already. Yep. Tell, tell me if there's anyone else that does that. Well, hey? We're getting good at this, been doing it for 14 years. Yeah. We haven't got a very long walk to go, it's just down the end of there. It might not be fucking long for her. She's not <laughs> carrying 24 <laughs> bottles of plonk, is she? And I wanted to buy more, but I said no, I won't put him under that dress. I'll just make him carry it tomorrow night. I go along the same, oh, you only carry your fucking own. There you go, that's more. <laughs> okay? See what, if that fucking thing there gets any more disobedient, and I'm not talking about Kim, I'm talking about that GoPro, only comes on when it wants to, only go, turns off when it wants to. It's a bit like a woman, isn't it? <laughs> but anyway, I was just saying to Kimmy, well, you think Kimmy would get in front of me so she could fucking film backwards on us, wouldn't you? Uh, hey, would you? Hey, not would you? Good. How do I? You do reckon it? might extend it? Pull, babe. Like I've told you years, just pull. Oh. It will extend. Look at that. Oh my god, there's no <laughs> way you're gonna even well, put it out in front. Put it out. No, All the way. No, yeah, I can't see nothing. Yeah. Oh. As I say, we must look like fucking bogans walking down the street with a cart. I don't know where she's going with that. <laughs> oh, you've lost control, babe. Bogan. Yeah. What's the fucking bogan? What a fucking bogan. Yeah. Yeah, well. well, we do. I mean, even other people are bloody more domesticated than us. And I never, never, ever, ever thought I'd have to put up with someone like her on the road all the time. I did not realise that. I, I love it a bit, but I mean, come on. Gives a break, someone. Someone just gives a break. Someone give poor old Rusty a break. Yeah, for crying out loud. Take me off his hands, please. Although. I did say in yesterday's video I would have the camera rolling all day today when Mr. Grumpy and Mr. Krabby. and Mr. Krabby sat on her shoulders. But that did not happen. That did not eventuate. Did it, babe? No. She was really good. It is about 34 degrees here at the moment in Mildura. Got hotter as we left Griffith, didn't it? But a great ride. A couple of little rough patches, but it wasn't too bad, was it? Wasn't Actually, the majority of the road was really good all the way through. Yeah. Sitting on just 110 all through the Hay Plains and everything. Yep. We stopped at Houston? Houston House. We stopped. Oh, well, we filled up at Hay. Yeah, but I mean, when we went down the Murray and... I Houston. Put my yes. wet towel thing Houston, on. which yeah. is about 80 k's from here. Yep. Something and that like was that. really the only time That's when that, it really yeah. started warming up. It was already about 33 then. Yeah. 33, 34, and that yep. continued on all the way through. Uh, it's supposed to get to about 35 here tonight, probably about 6 o'clock or something. So they reckon, don't they? Yeah. But we are over the road from the river, the great. Murray River in a boat. Where we will be tomorrow. Yes, we're going down there tomorrow, have a little paddle. We're going down there, have a little fish. Um, are we? Yeah, we're going to have a um, boat ride, river cruise. Well, that's not a paddle and that's not a fish, is it? I don't know what you think you're doing. What, you, what boat are you going on? Well, no, I thought we were going on a fishing boat. No. Oh, what'd you book? <laughs> I've booked a river cruise. Uh -huh. A two hour cruise. <laughs> have they got grog on it? They have. Oh, Hey, don't worry, guys. Nothing to fear there. I'm going fishing. Nah, nah she's right. <laughs> anyway, bikes are going pretty good at the moment, aren't they, sweetie? Yep. We called into a mill at Harley Davidson today, didn't we? Yep. Just to have a look around. Um, no particular reason, just because we could, wasn't it? On the way through, you'd never seen that on video, though. Mm -hmm. But um, it's not a bad little complex, this, actually. Like I said, the river is just down here, trade station down the right. Just around the corner is the main street. And look at that sun, guys. We have got a nice pool over here. Right there, see? Nice pool, right there. Skinny dipping. It's warm enough, babe. Don't you reckon? Looks a bit deep. Well, it's warm enough for skinny dipping. Oh, yeah, yeah but yeah. I can't swim. Don't worry about it, babe. It's going to be Chunky Duncan and you'll float. <laughs> Chunky <laughs> Duncan and Duncan. you'll float, won't yeah. you? Right, Chunky room Duncan. number four. And this is our room here. We've got a fan, which is great. And we've got... Close the door, babe. 
Oh, for crying out loud, bye. Put that fucking aircon in. Put that heat in. And we've got aircon up there. We've got a mess, as always, haven't we, babe? Yep. And old Chucky, the bride, she got a bit hot today, didn't she, babe? Yeah. Hey? She She's got a bit fucking hot today, old Chucky. She started melting. Yeah, Chucky, the bride's gone. I think she died. She's that hot. I wouldn't have said she died, but oh, she did. Oh, her fucking eye's working. Look at that. <laughs> How you fucking it. scary is that? You just fixed oh, it. Oh, look at that. I did. I f oh, wait a minute. You fixed it when you threw oh. it on the ground. Maybe I should throw you on the ground and see if it fixes you. I doubt it, too. <laughs> I doubt it, too. Uh, anyway, this is our room for the night. Yes, look, a carton and the... It was our fucking hot. We had to buy a carton today, didn't we, babe? She's got one and different coloured eye. I swear, I swear she pays more attention to that doll than what she does to me. <laughs> that poor old doll came out from Kimmy's bag today and her hair was that rough and it wasn't funny, was it, sweetie? It was as bad as mine, wasn't it? Was it was as bad as yours when you get up in the morning, wasn't it, hey? Like mother, like daughter, I guess, hey? <laughs> anyway, this is our bathroom. Yes, we've already had a shower, guys. Yes, it was very hot. This is the bloody shit <laughs> you silly bastard, Russ. Right, you in there? <laughs> That's the best place for it, mate. Fuck off. Stay in there, mate. Stay in there. No? I'm getting claustrophobic. Right, all I need is a piece of string to go. I don't care if you get claustrophobic. You're the one that put yourself in the closet, <laughs> not me. For crying out loud. Now, oh, Russ, you'll get the blame for that one, too. You watch. Okay, okay. so. Well, no, there's nothing much more to say, I don't think, is it, babe? Um, um, you're not no. pregnant, are you? No. No, that's good, that's a good thing. I am on elephant. <laughs> that's right. Um, the emu did land, if anybody wants to know. The emu landed last night! Oh, <laughs> oh Rusty, he was happy! And I've seen emus today, and apparently it doesn't count. Ah, oh, yeah, Kimmy's seen emus today, and now she wanted the emu contract changed once again for the second time on this trip. Nah, not gonna happen, mate. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Although, in saying that, I had a little bit of a think about that. And I thought to myself, the emu I had last night was pretty good. So I, I'm thinking every day, first one to see an emu gets an emu. Every day? Every day, yeah. Are we starting from today? No, we're starting from tomorrow. We're Damn not starting it. from today. <laughs> the rule's only just been changed, oh, babe. Jesus. No. OK, so I think that's a good idea. Of course, it was so enjoyable, the emu, that is. Is it? Yeah, I think we should change. Every day we hit the road, the first one to see an emu gets an emu. Thing is, too, though, that rule is both have to see it. Both have to see it. Mate, it could be standing up. If, if old Rusty seen it first, now this is fair thing. If old Rusty seen it first, and it was standing up in the middle of the fucking road, and Kim hit it, and there's feathers flying around everywhere, and she's actually spitting out feathers, she'd be going, no fucking no, no fucking no, no here. No, we knew here, wouldn't you? That's what you would say, wouldn't it? I actually probably would. Yeah, she would. Yeah. No, the fuck. No, we knew here. <laughs> That's about what you yep. would say, That's wouldn't a, it? Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah okay. Would. We've got to go, guys. <laughs> um, the time is of the essence. We, and um, we, we yeah, as you see, we've got a car and then we've got to catch on the road. We've got a few things we're going to do tomorrow in Mildura. And then we're going to hit the road again. We do not know where we're going yet. No. Do we? No, we don't. We'll no. look at that tomorrow. Yeah, okay. See you guys. Bye. Now my wheels in motion